good for health, weight loss, high in nutrients and full of antioxidants. Are these statements actually backed by science? Does this superfood benefit athletic performance? Let's see! Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Lenka and in this video I'm going to be talking about spirulina. This video will cover what is spirulina, its nutritional value, health benefits, benefits for athletes and how to incorporate it into your daily meals. You may have heard the term superfood. Many people refer to spirulina as a superfood. Spirulina is a blue-green algae. It's a spiral-shaped multicell water plant that has been used for thousands of years for its health benefits. It is even used by NASA as a dietary supplement for astronauts in form of capsules. Seaweeds are healthy in general, so it's not surprising that spirulina is no exception. The recommended daily amount is from 1 to 3 up to 10 grams a day and the maximal dosage is 50 grams a day. Majority of vitamins and minerals, including vitamin E, A, all Bs and minerals such as potassium, magnesium, calcium and zinc, are all present in spirulina. Spirulina is low in fat and has a complete protein profile. There are many concerns about sourcing spirulina, especially from highly polluted areas. How to make sure that the spirulina you buy is safe? That leads me to the sponsor of today's video, Vanilla Pepper. Specializing in tasty, healthy and inclusive food products, Vanilla Pepper sells nourishing goods made from raw ingredients and superfoods imported from Madagascar. Vanilla Pepper spirulina is grown in a safe environment, heavy metal free. It naturally gets maximum heat throughout the year thanks to Madagascar's position right at the Tropic of Capricorn. Vanilla Pepper spirulina is raw, 100% natural, sun-dried and grown in natural mineral waters of Madagascar. Thank you so much for sending me your product. On the packaging, Vanilla Pepper states that spirulina is an antioxidant, detoxes and cleanses heavy metals, boosts energy and the immune system. Let's have a look if that's true. Here is an article that concludes preclinical and clinical studies done on spirulina. It seems that the antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects have been proven. While more research is still needed on this matter, researchers concluded that the quality and sourcing of spirulina is crucial. A systematic review from 2015 concluded that spirulina has blood lipid lowering benefits and antioxidant effects. These and many other health benefits were achieved while eating 2 to 8 grams of spirulina daily. A randomized double-blind placebo-controlled study on elderly Koreans demonstrated the health benefits of spirulina as a functional food. It may even ease some negative health issues in women after menopause. If you are interested in any of these articles, I'll link them all down below. Now, let's talk about how can spirulina benefit your sport performance. But before that, if you are enjoying this video so far, please click that like button and subscribe to my channel. If you are watching this video on a different platform, here are my YouTube, Instagram and Bilibili accounts. Feel free to follow me for sport nutrition related content and more. Spirulina is a good antioxidant. While exercising, our body experiences higher oxidative stress. Spirulina helps to reduce oxidative damage caused during the sport's activities. Ingestion of spirulina significantly decreases carbohydrate oxidation and increases fat oxidation. This means that you can run longer before hitting the fatigue. In long-distance endurance sports such as marathons, you want to save your carbohydrate stores for the later use. Our body's most preferred fuel are carbohydrates. If your body can oxidate fats first, this can create a big advantage compared to your competitors. Spirulina has a complete amino acid profile. In theory, spirulina has more protein per 100 grams than a steak. 
Calcium, together with magnesium, have a big role in muscle contraction and relaxation. Athletes may be at higher risk of iron deficiency. We lose iron via sweat during endurance sports and when injured. Women are more likely to get deficient because of the blood loss during menstruation. Food strike hemolysis happens during long-distance endurance sports such as marathons and ultramarathons, when red blood cells are destroyed by repeated and forceful impact of the feet with the ground. Iron transports oxygen from lungs to other organs and muscles, and deficiency may lead to fatigue. Spirulina is rich in B vitamins. These are important for energy production and red blood cell formation. The easiest way to eat spirulina is to add it to a smoothie or a smoothie bowl. Spirulina tastes bitter and muddy and very, very green. The best fruit to combine spirulina with are bananas, mangoes, papaya, pineapple, any other very sweet and fiber-rich fruits that you can mix it with it together. If you like juices, you can mix it into a pineapple or an apple juice. There are many recipes for spirulina salads, pancakes, energy bowls, bars, etc. But making smoothies and smoothie bowls are my favorite ways how to incorporate spirulina into my daily meals. But what to do if you don't want to compromise your tasty meal with spirulina? Make a spirulina shot. Yes, you heard it right. I often do this with turmeric and black pepper, not combined with spirulina. Simply put a teaspoon or a tablespoon of spirulina into 50 milliliters of water, stir it and drink it. Better have some tasty food on hand to have it right after that. There is also another way and that is to make it into a capsule. You can buy an ingestible capsules on the internet and you can fill it with spirulina powder and just drink it as a medicine pill. Superfoods such as spirulina, kale, blueberries, soy, chia seeds are awesome and if you enjoy eating them, you should definitely keep eating them. However, don't put too much value on the superfood term. One single serving of a nutrient-dense food on a top of a poor diet won't make you healthy. Eating a balanced whole food diet and getting enough exercise is the best way to stay healthy. If you put a nutrient-dense food as spirulina on top of that, you are going to be a step ahead towards a healthy life.